<clears throat> um, at this uh, moment, we would um, like to um, offer if anybody would like to say a few words, share a few stories. Um, we we we'd love to love to hear them. Um, if um, if there um, are no other stories, uh, my father will come up here and um, he'll um, say a few words. First of all, I'd like to thank for everybody here, my relatives, my good friends. I thank you for come over here to have this gathering together for my wife, Jamie. Thank you. Um, I might talk a little bit about what Jenny and me, okay? how we met, how we come to the United States, and just a little bit. Uh, I met my wife, Jenny, in Brunei. Brunei is a country close to Singapore. There are probably lots of people that don't know where it's a room. It's close to Singapore. Okay. So Jenny graduated from <coughs> Element High School in Chinese. Then she went to English school. She graduated high school in Korea. Okay. Her elementary Chinese school classmate, she always mentioned to me, is Dr. Fu, famous doctor. You are the classmate, is that right? <laughs> when you <when> you <laughs> 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 Then I was uh, in Brunei, was teaching in high school, and my father was working in the high school kitchen. Okay? That's what we met together. So her father came from Canton, China. Canton, China. So Jenny never been in China after we got married, 1988. So that's the first time when I have some business to do in China. She come with me in China, in Beijing, China for six weeks. That is the first time she was in China. Well, she, well after I left, I came to the United States for my graduate study. Then I asked her, Jenny, I said, if you like to join with me in the United States, we can get married over here. So she said yes. So that's why she came to the United States. We got married in River City, South Dakota. <laughs> so, after we got married with them, we have, we have four kids. And, uh, uh, and we one is Mabel, and then we pick up the number three, and then we pick up So, we come to the United States. It's, I come to the United States first generation, just like uh, the, uh, the father. Come to Brunei from Canton, China. It's also first generation. So, my favorite girls, I come over here. No people call me uncle, no people call me grandpa, no, no people call me father, you know. So, my, the feelings, ah, oh, that's first generation, my look is in the United States. But you know, my family grows, family grows. They all have family. So Jenny feels happy. Jenny feels good and happy. Because we have five grandkids. Okay, four kids, okay, lots of relatives. And they call me uncle, they call me grandpa, okay. <laughs> so my family grows in this country. Okay. So Jenny is a very tough lady. <laughs> but we do have little things, we do argue with. So her heart is very, very good. Very good. We've been married for 44 years. 44 years. So, thank you. 
like it, uh, last couple of days ago, I watched Jenny pass away. I caught him, uh, uh, Mitchell Graham, you know, said the father. I, 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 I talked to Mitchell, I said, oh, too. Jenny is gone. Uh, I, I don't know what to do. I feel really sad. So Mitchell told me, he said, well, yeah, sure, you are to be For 40 years, 44 years, for so long time, you all sent him. Uh, and Jenny, Jenny is such a good one. What can you forget? Every day, it's only two, three days, and I come back in Davis' apartment, and I see the bed of the years. No problem. Jenny is gone. I feel really, really, really. What am I going to do? I did something wrong. So, but I feel Jenny left me this this time before she passed away. Her health was not too good. It's not. She just doesn't have the energy. Her healing is lost. And she cannot eat. She has back to for two years. Every day I have seen him five times. But now I miss this opportunity to see him by a Okay. Like the Chinese say, okay, do not feel bad. Okay? This Chinese say, uh, you born, you getting old, you sick, you die. Nobody can avoid it. <laughs> so she cannot avoid it. So sooner or later I cannot avoid it. So, so uh, uh, I just thank our Lord and the husband to take care of Jim. And she lived here to suffer. She suffered quite hard. Just a stop moment. But thank you for everybody who came over here. To, uh, should I say the yeah, you want to say Lord's Prayer? Yeah, uh, should I say the prayer? Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, um, we can all say it together. Yeah. yeah. So. <coughs> Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. You will be the glorious as it is in heaven. Give us today of our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we are there forgiving our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. So small, I can look at email. <laughs> <laughs> but I know Jenny and the family very well. We were in a very small school in Brunei. In my class, when I graduated, only about 14 people in the class. So we practically know everyone. We are very naughty. Her father was taking care of the canteen, where we all go and sit in and get something to eat a lot of times. So Jenny, her sister, and the brothers, all work together. And suddenly one day, someone who learned from Taiwan, this Simon came in and teach us. We are a bunch of rascals, small ones. And we don't really study that hard. Some of Taiwan give us discipline. I don't have to, have to uh, thank him for giving us all the uh, education that they are here. It's a very small world. I came from Malaysia tonight and we came from Taiwan, and we met there, and we separate, and now they are in Ohio, 
and then we met again. And somehow it's a very small way we get together. And very everyone is here, and Miss Jenny, tell me. Uh, thank you, Simon, for giving us such a good education. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Kru. Um, would anybody like anybody else like to say say anything? I have a couple of more words. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have this chance to say just one more thing again. I want to thanks to my son-in-law David and my daughter Nancy. Okay. Uh, Jenny passed away. I thought, because she's so weak, but Jenny has been in nursing home. Jenny has been in hospital, and in and out, in and out, nursing home, in and out, in and out. And she said, well, I don't want to die in nursing home. I don't want to die in the hospital, okay? I want to die with in home with my family member together, all my kids home with my family member. She had, she's, she's very scared, but she getting along, she's scared. When we in David's home apartment, and she doesn't feel scared. And she has our granddaughter surrounding her, and we have nice there and we have all our nice help with uh, Susan people also. Uh, Susan, thank you. <coughs> so, so she doesn't feel scared. Okay? The last moment she passed away is very, very important. And she has she sees well she's in good care. Okay? So I will thank you, David, I will thank you, Nancy, I will thank you. Susan also. And, um, thank you very much. Thank you very much. So that's with my wife, JD. Much, much better to go to her. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, if there's um if anybody else would like to say anything, um, you know, please please do so. Otherwise, we have um, the facility until 9 o'clock. You're welcome to stay as, um, as long as you wish. And um, around 8.30, um, we have the room across the street at the Citrus Bar and Grill, and we welcome you to, uh, to join us. So um, thanks, thanks again for coming. Oh, yeah, good. Thank you. Tap the button again? Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you.